All right, we are back on the college basketball experience, and we got an eight thirty standalone game. Fucking Dartmouth is heading over to their rivals in Fairfield. Fucking Sacred Heart. I think fucking Sacred Heart is gonna win the game because why the fuck are they a three and a half point favorite? What are you doing here? Um, this line reeks. Yeah, Get, let's go. Sacred Heart, home team. They let us down today, but let's go. Sacred Heart. Let's fucking lock up Sacred Heart against fucking Dartmouth, and we're good. I mean, why is this line? Why are they laying three and a half? I mean, Dartmouth won by good. nine last year. Doesn't yeah. make any sense. And and also you look at it, Sacred Hearts lost what? Six in a row? Let's go. Lay it. Yeah. Just Lay it all day. Smash spot. Smash. Sacred Heart I never twenty. I haven't felt great about a lot of Sacred Heart games in my life, but I'm feeling pretty good about this one. All right, let's this go. This is the one. This is the one. <laughs> uh Central Connecticut State is getting nine and a half in the Bronx. The South South Bronx. Take okay. it on. Fordham. I don't even know if that, I don't even think Fordham's in the South Bronx, but it sounds good to say. Uh, too many points. Eh, I don't. Too so many points. Give me, give me the real Blue Devils plus nine and a half. What are you doing here? Uh, give me the points. Yeah. Oh, nah, no, I'll lay it with Fordham. Wait, we have Fordham's to. We, we don't have to bet this one. Okay, good, good. Because thank God, thank God. But did you switch to lay in the nine and a half? Yeah, I'm gonna lay it. Fordham's I think better. I will too. I think Fordham's yeah. due. I think Fordham's due. Yeah. I'm changing, changing my pick here. Let's go. All right. It's easy to see a tide turn. Uh, Hampton is catching four and a half at Eastern Michigan. Hampton just played. <laughs> Hi, Noah. Are you really telling me we should bet on Eastern Michigan? Oh my God. Yes, sir. I'm locking up the Eagles. Uh, they play good at home. Hampton. They haven't covered this number on the road yet this season. Um, and Eastern, uh, Eastern Michigan's, uh, strength of schedule has been quite good. Um, their fourth home game of the season, they've won two of them. They're only lost to Oakland who handles, uh, teams like Eastern Michigan, but when they step up in converse, uh, competition, I don't know what's happened the last two times, but Oakland hasn't looked good, but I like the Eagles here. I'm going to lay the points. That is a Noah Beanick lock. I will not join you, but I will take Eastern Michigan minus four and a half, but it smells a little bit to me. Mac, does this line smell a little bit to you? I will lock battle. No being it. Give me my guys <laughs> from Hampton, Virginia. Yeah, they're better. Don't you team. Think, Let's go. Don't you think this line should be at like seven? I don't That's know. Like I might, I, I think I have a good read on the bed and breakfast. I, I, I bet them <laughs> against Bowling Green. Now they make the trip up to Eastern Michigan. They've been in the the bowels of Detroit for another uh, for one day longer than they should be. Uh, that's not the best part of Detroit. They're gonna win the game outright. Let's go. We got a lock battle. Noah Beanick flying high with the Eagles. Moneyline Max saying, "Ah." Noah Beanick saying, "Let's go." Virginia basketball, Manhattan. Michigan basketball. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like that angle. Uh, oh, um, you're you're gonna take a bunch of Virginia guys over guys in Detroit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh wait, wait, time out. Are you claiming isn't Detroit Eastern an empty Michigan? town? Motown's <laughs> over, man. Motown's over. Uh, Detroit Mercy this is like oh this is DMV, this Virginia. This is like oh this is this is the beach. This is the beach. It's the beach, Virginia. This is seven five seven. Allen yeah. Iverson. Let's go. That's actually where that's actually where a shit ton of talent comes out of. Yeah. True. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> Manhattan is catching eight and a half points at Monmouth. Give me the Jaspers in the eight and a half. No luck here. What are you doing? Yeah, I'll take the points. This actually might be friends lock. I mean, th these two teams are close. Daytime. This is a great 2 p.m. game. This is a good game. UT Arlington's getting 13 and a half for 14 in Lubbock. Give me the points. 
No, this game is exactly where I projected it on our Big 12 college experience a couple days ago. Uh, give me the points. Let's go. So I, I had a note for this game as well. Just like Wyoming, UT Arlington, actually not just like Wyoming, uh, three-time transfer Philip Russell for UT Arlington is making his second appearance this game. He had 28 points last game. And uh, before his appearance, the Mavericks had an all-freshman backcourt. UTA is uh, going to be fun now, I guess. I like it. I like it. Adam Hurley says Muggsy Bogue should be a Hall of Famer. He paved the way for midgets in the NBA. Uh, I am 100% on board. You want to talk about greatest accomplishments we've done as the human species to me? Midgets. Why the fuck? Why the fuck is that not up there? Like, I mean, Muggsy Bogues. The amount of respect I have for Muggsy Bogues is more than some of the greatest players on the history of the planet. You know what I mean? Like that, that if, if you told me I had to sit down with Muggsy Bogues or Tom Brady and, and write a, you know, or learn about their life, 100%. I would, I mean, I'm not trying to shit on Tom Brady. I'm just saying like Muggsy Bogues is one of the most unbelievable stories I think ever. I'm shocked. There hasn't been a movie about Muggsy Bogues because unbelievable fucking story. Hey, anyway. by the way, I'll tell you what. TB12 is is earning points with us recently. Yeah. Shout yeah, out, shout to, out look, to, that, that, shout out that to was Tom a, Brady recently shitting on the fucking bullshit rules of targeting. Thank God yeah. for Tom Brady. Thank God Amen. for him. Look, I, I wasn't trying to shit on Tom Brady. I was just trying to yeah. say that Muggsy Bogues has maybe the greatest story, you know, when you really think about it. Absolutely. Unbelievable fucking story. Uh he definitely, I think he should be a first ballot home of hall of famer. I know, but like, I know you're then saying, well, you're giving him a pass because he's five, three. Ha, have we ever seen anyone else do that? It's probably what was five, Earl, seven Earl, Bo- Earl Boykins, maybe. Yeah. Earl Boykins. I mean, yeah. I know George Washington had a uh, Shante Rogers who was a beast, but man, Muggsy Bogues played like 15 years in the NBA at five, three is a bad one of the greatest fucking accomplishments. We should have him on the fucking dollar bill, as far as I'm concerned. All right? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Uh, anyway, yeah, that that Dun- Dunbar team was incredible. Um, Navy is catching ten and a half at Youngstown State. Lay it. I feel like we should bet Navy. Oh, uh, I mean, you've been young, riding young, Navy lately, man. Dude, Young sounds won six in a row. Yeah, I'm a lot. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm a lot. Cocktail, cocktail, cocktail napkins got Navy plus six. I couldn't yeah, get there. I but. like Navy a lot. I like Navy right. in a lot. You Let's you go. swayed oh. me on Navy, but you're locked. I'm not locking Navy. I, I don't young think young I want to bet played, it either. Young I refuse just, to bet Navy. Young Sounds won seven in a row. They just played back to back D2s. Give me Navy in the points. Okay. Let's go. I'll join you on the pick, but I'm not locking it. The I'll lock go. for Mac A7. You sank my battleship. Yes, he's riding with the fucking Navy. Midshipman in the Navy. Holy Cross is getting 16 and a half at Harvard. Oh, God. I feel like we have to lock this. I know they suck. <laughs> Th- this is the battle of Boston. This is a rivalry game, man. In football this year, Holy Cross was rolling and fucking Harvard, Harvard upset them. Like this is a rivalry game and cross town. Although last year, Harvard won 72 to 38. <laughs> now, I'm out. I'm out too. Uh, I'm out. I'll take the point. So I'm with you. <laughs> I'll I'm take out. the points I'm out. too. I'm out. <laughs> God damn it. I was about to feel good about that play. Um yeah. Alcorn State's getting 14 and a half at the Colonials of George Washington. The Colonials of George Washington. The Colonials of George Washington. Uh, what are you doing here? Give me the points. I mean, fuck George Washington. Alcorn's lost what? 15 <laughs> in a row, 10 in a row. George Washington sucks. Give me the points. <laughs> I'll take the points too. Fuck the Colonials, uh, yeah. Quinnipiac, the Aqueduct, laying this. two and a half at Lafayette. 
How the fuck is Quinnipiac eight and three? Dude, Lafayette's so, only one. Wait, Lafayette's only one and ten. Yep. Oh yeah. That, this a lock. Yep. Lafayette all day. Lock fucking lock this. Lock up Easy. the leopards. Easy. Lock up the leopards. Let's go. Lafayette outright. Yes. I dub is catching 14 and a half against UIC. Give me the points and I dub. I think that spreads a little too high. What are you doing here? Uh would you say the number was again? 14 and a half. I'll take the points. Yeah. Steve Alford is laying seven and a half. God damn it. You know, I hate playing this game. It's in Honolulu against Temple. I hate to say it. I'm laying the seven and a half. I think Temple's fool's gold. What are you doing here? I do too. Uh, also, Nevada has stayed out there. They already played Hawaii on the road. No, are you locking Nevada? I am locking up the Wolf Pack. Uh, here's why, too. So I think it's a smart yeah. play. I just hate locking Actually, Steve Alford. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some logic behind the pick, too. Temple loves shooting the three ball. They've shot uh, the 61st most threes in the country, and they rank 274th in efficiency. Only 30.6% of them go in. Nevada's defense excels defending the perimeter. Um, they they first off they let you shoot them, but they hold they hold their opponents to thirty point three percent shooting them. So, uh, I think Nevada's defense is going to lock up the Owls on the perimeter. I think I like he's it. right. I think he's I, right. I think we should. I'm locking up Nevada. I'm, I'm with you. Nevada. It's Phil's. What could it go feels wrong? Just what could ab- go yeah, wrong? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Fucking jackass. Jacksonville State is catching two and a half against a little cock. Yeah, I'll take Jacksonville State. Never touch a Little Rock ever again. What are you doing here? This game's in Little Rock. Um, it is. Jack. Give me Jack State. Good game. Good game. Little Rock's been fucking me up. <laughs> the Blue Hoes of Presbyterian are catching 18 and a half at Wake Forest. This line's come down since open, for what it's worth. People like uh, the Blue Hoes. A lot of people like Hoes. Give me the points. I'm not locking it. What are you doing here? Yeah, I, I'm on the point. Fringe lock. I mean, Wake's coming in hot. What? Winners of five in a row. ACC on deck. Presbyterian. Lost to Furman. Lost to Kennesaw. Why Why am I taking Presbyterian? My logic is it's right before Christmas. You. It's what is it? A couple days you, before yeah. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm going to lock Presbyterian. Ooh, I'm not going to lock keep, it. They're going to keep this close. Wake is looking ahead to Virginia Tech, ACC, they've won six in a row. Presbyterian lock. One in back, riding with the blue hose. The Bears of Northern Colorado are catching eight and a half at Air Force. Hmm. Give me the points. <laughs> Long pause there. Uh, I I, I kind of think this Northern Colorado team sucks, but at the same time, like it's a in-state battle. Give I like the Northern Colorado man. Clark loves it in the chat. I think we should bet this. I think Air Force is fool's gold to be to be laying eight and a half. But my problem is, actually, yeah, man. Time out, time out. Air Force cannot lay eight and a half. I'm on. I'm on North Colorado. Yeah. Good point. Okay, let's go. let's go. Let's go. Lock it up. Give me the Bears. Thank you, Clark. Your fool's so, gold statement's probably true too. Air Force has faced the 355th strength of schedule yes. so far this yes. season. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The amount of DMs I got. Air Force is pretty good this year. I was like, no. Look, I I would love we to see Air see. Force. I would love to see Air Force in the NCAA tournament. But come on, come on. No. Uh, American 
He's catching 18 and a half at Virginia Tech. Give me the points. What are you doing here? Take the points. Let's go. North Carolina A and T. My boys. They are heading to Conway, South Carolina, where Coastal is laying nine and a half. Give me the nine and a half, I guess. Uh, I so mean, I'm, do you this think is a hard one? Do you think NCAA T coming back from Vegas impacts? That yeah, at all? yeah, but I also don't think Coastal is worth the fuck. That's the problem. Um, I'm taking the points. Take the points. Care uh, Coastal wins by eight. Niagara is catching seventeen and a half against Syracuse. I'll get the <sighs> fuck out of here. I hate that I have to keep taking the points here on these big numbers, but give me the points in Niagara, even though they look like shit the last time I saw them. Um, I know Syracuse is coming off a gigantic win too, but I just feel like it's little brother. This is another one that's dropped a couple of points after open as well. Niagara yeah, lock lock. I, I'll join Sy- you. Syracuse just beat Oregon and G- and Georgetown. I'm, I'll join you. It's a great spot, I think, for Niagara. And ACC's on deck. TCU is laying 14 and a half. This game's on ESPNU against Old Dominion. This game is in Hawaii. It's a hard Uh, give me the points. Lock it up. Who the fuck is TCU to be laid 14 and a half? What are you doing here? I mean, I think I have to join you. ODU has lost three in a row to Northeastern, William and Mary, JMU. They haven't played in 12 days. Let's go. Let's go. ODU. Lock it up. Love. I kind of love this play. Yeah. Hope it doesn't break. Maybe a little bit. Uh, Louisville is catching 13 and a half at home against Kentucky. I'm locking up Kentucky. <laughs> Actually, does this stink a little bit to you? On the road, for for what it's worth, last stand. Last stand? <laughs> for what it's worth, the cocktail napkin had this right on the number. Um, my analysis is I, I it's had Kentucky's, it all right on the number two on the SGP show. Yeah, it, it's Kentucky's first road game of the season. However, Ooh. their fans are probably going to fill up this building instead of Louisville's fans. <laughs> it's the harsh truth. Yeah. You know what? You mean- That's become a. I, I heard that on multiple shows today. And give me Louisville. I, I actually Louisville's was about, gonna keep this close. Louisville's. I was thinking. I'm close. removing my lock because lock I think Louisville. it's. I think it's too Kentucky. fucking Let's obvious. Go. I'm still. I'm still taking Kentucky. I'm still taking Kentucky. I. I think if you're betting Kentucky, you take it now. I think if you're betting Louisville, everybody's gonna be on t- Kentucky tomorrow. I think Louisville takes this to the brink. Let's go. Louisville, lock it up. This is the last stand. At you, at all the money is on Kentucky. Who's been For what Louisville? it's worth, also, uh, Kentucky blew out Louisville last year by 23. The line was 23 and a half. Absolutely. <laughs> they know what they're doing. And who did Kentucky just beat? North Carolina. Give me Louisville. Let's go. They're going to lose by 10. <laughs> you can't say that that confidently. I oh, will yeah. take... Actually, Kenny I Payne, will change. You better make those motherfuckers get their tights on. Let's fucking go. It's easy to see a tide turn. I will take Louisville now. I will take Louisville, but I am not I betting think- this game because this reeks. This reeks. Western Michigan is catching nine and a half at Cleveland State. Lay it. Western Michigan sucks. What are you doing here? Oh, I mean, Cleveland State just. Had a big win over Bradley. I'll take the points. 
Lehigh is catching 15 and a half at Boston College. Should we lock Boston College? <laughs> no. I'm not locking. <laughs> they just beat St. John's the last game. Yeah, I've actually seen it at 16. No, that was a too. while ago, though. No, that was their last. They've had game. 11 days off. Yeah, they're gonna drill Lehigh, but I'm not betting it. So Give me Lehigh, I, I I like Colby's gut feeling here, and the cocktail napkin likes it too. Minus 19. Um, for what it's worth, who on Lehigh stopping Quentin Post? <laughs> Time out. You're locking uh, BC. I mean, I'm afraid the reason why I didn't lock this pre show and I was waiting for you guys is because BC's definitely sleepy around the holidays. <laughs> yeah, don't let's not lock this. Let's not lock. Oh, this. I was getting last, ready to lock battle because I'm like, no way. Last, <laughs> last year, they no, lost. I mean, I the, still am taking BC because I think Lehigh is ass. You got to remember. I think I watch more Lehigh basketball than you guys because uh, stacking the money green keeps it on in the studio. Uh, they're <laughs> last not a year good they, team. Yeah. Last year BC lost the main during the holidays, so during Thanksgiving, so it's tough. Come on, let's lock battle. Let's go. I'll take Lehigh. <sighs> I just I I, I I have a rule: you can never lay fifteen. You can never lay double digits with Boston College, <laughs> even when they do I, hit. I, you can't do I was it. Talk, I was talking to Noah. Noah loved BC. Oh. No, uh-huh. you coward. <laughs> I never said um, I loved him. <laughs> you freaking came in with your freaking napkin <laughs> fucking stats. <laughs> Rhode Island is laying four and a half <laughs> against New Hampshire. Stink a little bit. Give me Rhode Island. Ooh. Hey! Oh, rabbit, yeah. Do you know? You on you on you on the Islanders? No, I yeah no, I like Rhode Island here. Um, should we lock this? If us four in a row, man. Let's Is go. This a smash spot. Let's go. We're gonna fuck them up. Rhode Let's Island go. all day. We're gonna win by twenty. New Orleans is catching 23 and a half at Ohio State. Ah, man. Give me the points. I don't I don't I don't fucking know. What are you doing here? I think we have to take the points. Ohio State's coming off UCLA. I know UCLA isn't very good, but it's still a hard, high marquee matchup and they have West Virginia on deck who I know isn't very good, but still a high marquee matchup. Let's take the points. Gardner Webb is catching 10 points at Akron. Lock. This team almost beat Arkansas. Run with the Bulldogs. What are you doing here? Shit, they should have wanted Chattanooga the other night. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll lock it up. Let's go. Gardner Webb. Let's go. Good point. Uh, Stony Brook is catching 21 and a half against Michigan State and Sparty. Is this the elf game, Noah? I think I take Stony Brook here. Michigan State wins by 17. What are you doing here? Yeah, I mean, Michigan State's been playing their asses off. No, B. Nick keeps hating on him, but Tom Izzo's his daddy. Uh, they actually have Indiana State on deck. That is a fascinating game coming out of the holiday. Uh, give me Stony Brook, though. I'm with you. Yeah, let's go. Uh, why do I not see a line? Oh, no, I got it. Purdue's laying 30 against the Jacksonville Dolphins. Oh, uh, God. I can't, I can't get this Jacksonville team right, man. But give me the points. Give me the points. What's the Purdue situational spot? Uh, Eastern Kentucky uh, coming up. They just beat Arizona. Arizona, right? Uh, they win by 30, so I guess I'll take the points. <laughs> 8252. Uh, Jacksonville's <laughs> been a hard fucking read for me this year, man. By the hook. Uh Tarleton. Tarleton State is taking on Tennessee in Knoxville. Tennessee's laying Ooh. 22 and a half. Is Gillespie back? Do we know he's no. back? No, he's not. I kind of think Tennessee's gonna fuck their ass up. I'm not locking this, so lean, lean. I'm taking Tennessee. Give me Tarleton in the points. Fucking Tarleton's awful. 
Look St. Gillespie. Joe's. St. Joe's is catching two against Charleston. I'm taking St. Joe's to beat Charles. I think they're a better basketball team. Lock it up. What are you doing here? I'm locking Charleston. Lock battle. Better team, for, home court, better, better coach. Team, go. Better team, my ass. For, for what it's worth, this six line out of seven. Cross. For what yeah. it's worth, this line not against St. Joe's. It opened. It opened, Joe's as, up. <laughs> it opened as Joe's favorite, and this crosses zero to Charleston. So it usually it did get away. Shit out of here. We got a lock battle. Pick Dundee riding with St. Joe's. One on Mac riding with the Cougs. Let's go. Uh, Fairfield is taking on Fairly Dickinson. Why don't I see this line? Anyone got this line? What's it around three? <laughs> I don't. I don't so see it. So when I was right when I was picking the games earlier, uh, Fairfield or Fairfield was laying a point and a half, and it's at Fair Dick. I don't Maybe see Fair it right Dick. now, but. Uh, <sighs> Give me Fairfield. Hello? You guys good? You guys oh, good? yeah. No, yeah. No, okay. no. I'm taking Fair Dick. I'm with you. I thought I already said that. Uh, Utah Tech is taking on Colorado. The Buffs in Boulder. Colorado's laying 24. Give me Tech. Colorado's an interesting team. I mean, we mentioned it. They drill Miami. Uh, it's different in altitude. Give me, uh, give me the buffs. They're gonna fuck you, Dixie State. You know, up. Co- you know Cody Dallas. Williams is out. I don't care. F- f- fuck Dixie okay. State. Okay. Florida A and M. Cody Williams has been out the last couple of games. To be honest, yeah. he was out for the Miami. Well, I know. Too. I know. But I'm saying he's still out. It's worth noting, right? Uh, Florida A and M is at UCF. Where the fuck okay. is this line? Why do I not see this line? Okay, UCF's lay at twenty four and a half. Lay it. Uh, lay it. <laughs> I'm with you. Abilene Christian's catching fifteen at Arkansas. Hmm. Is Arkansas coming off the loss? No, they played somebody, right? Uh, Arkansas is coming off a Lipscomb win. They got Wilmington on deck. Noah, what do Give you got? Give me the points. Uh, I like Abilene Christian a lot here, and that's coming from a guy that preseason took Arkansas to get to the Final Four. Um, I'm pulling the game up. But, yeah, I, I, I'm locking the Wildcats here. Something reeks here. I'll lay it. Is- I'll take the points. But uh, no, no, Noah being able to lock it up. Arkansas minus, oh, I'm sorry, Emily Christian plus 15. Idaho State is getting so, six and a half. Oh, what's sorry, up? sorry, Colby. Uh, they Arkansas just plays a lot of these mid majors close, too close for comfort. I'm actually fading them their next two games. They they play Abilene Christian here, and I'm also going to take UNC Wilmington plus the points when they play Arkansas as well. Abilene Christian is getting, f- I'm sorry, I had Jesus. Idaho State is getting six and a half in Corvallis against Oregon State. Give me the points. God. I mean, is this all time low? You're only laying six and a half. Uh, uh, give me the points. I guess Future Mountain, West member, Oregon State. My God. No, no, future WCC member the next two years in basketball. That news came out today while you were probably slamming cocktails. Yeah. Uh, independent for baseball. Adam West. Independent yeah. for baseball. Shout out to them. Wow. All right. You know what? I'll flip. Lay it. <laughs> I don't have a May- strong feel. If you fucking people out there that want to keep tally on my fucking record, kiss my ass. <laughs> Lay it. Or Main- say it. <laughs> Maine is laying three and a half against Maine. Uh, Florida International is laying three and a half against Maine. God. I'll lay it. I'll lay it. I mean, FIU all time low. I mean, is this is this the bottom for FIU? Back to back road spot for Maine. Uh, lay it, lay it. I'm with you. Let's go. 
Should we lock Pepperdine? No, 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 no. Pepperdine's laying seven and a half against Wayman Mary. Oh God. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Gosh, this one is something's got to give. Give me, give me. I'm still taking, I'm still taking the tribe in the points. What are you doing here? Yeah, no, I mean, it's a long trip. I'll take the points. Colgate is getting one at Iona. Does this line reek to you? Yes. <laughs> no, where are you at? Where's our Philly and New York battle again? Uh, for what it's worth, the, uh, Colgate is plus one and a half on the cocktail napkin here. I don't it smell. You stink. I don't feel strong either way, to be honest. I mean, I feel like Colgate's a way better team, and the spread doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So that is why I'll take Iona. <laughs> what are yeah, you doing I'll here, take, Mac? I'll take Iona. I mean, this is New York and Pennsylvania. I mean, this, yeah. is, this, this is what happens. All right. Before we get to the Eagle, next picks, Eagles Giants week. Come on, OB. You know the drill. Before I get to the next picks, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by Game Time. Yes. Uh, look, buying tickets to your favorite event should not be that stressful. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, and comedy and theater that is near you. With killer deals on last minute tickets and their best price guarantee, you can stop stressing over the tickets and start getting hyped for the fun you'll be having at that very event. So what are you doing, folks? Snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time, and let me tell you that Game Time tickets make the perfect holiday gift. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use that promo code CFBX for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Once again, terms apply. Redeeming code CFBX. Create that account, twenty dollars off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NFL season with Hall of Fame Bets. The sports betting analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NFL, NBA, and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame bets to craft more intelligent, data driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching, start winning with Hall of Fame bets. All right, we are back. North Carolina, Wilmington, the Seahawks are heading into Huntington, West Virginia, where Wilmington is laying one. The stink is still active. Give me Marshall. What are you doing here? Uh, give me Wilmington. I think they're better. Oh, they are better. That's why it stinks. Yeah. I mean, I I'm saying away, man. Uh, the Buffalo Bulls are heading into Richmond, Virginia. Richmond's laying 15 and a half. All right. You've typed up this fucking Buffalo team. Give me the fucking points. <laughs> I, I hate laying a double. I hate laying double digits with Richmond. What are you doing here? Oh, it's a lock. Lock up Buffalo. Get the shit oh. out of here. Buffalo lock. 15 and a half with Richmond? No way. Buffalo. They're going to lose by nine. Moneyline Max saying. Fuck with the bulls, you get cash. Let's go. Hey, that prince of shit. Lemoyne, the Dolphins. Is he saying Ace Ventura? Hey, Marino, look, I'm throwing passes to a dolphin. Uh, where the fuck is this spread? Anyone got this spread? There's too many fucking games tomorrow. Where the fuck is this? Anyone got the spread? I don't see the spread. I need. Where the hell is Rob Donaldson? Uh, let me get on Vison. I got it. I'm 19 and a half. 19 and a half is what Penn State's laying. Yep. Too many. I know. Should we yeah. lock Lemoyne? What? How about Lemoyne being on Peacock and you're one of the program? <laughs> Shout out to you guys. <laughs> Shout out I'm to you guys. Up. I'm locking up the Dolphins plus the points. Let's go. I feel like we have to. Yes, let's go. I mean, Penn State? Yeah, let's go. Pink Davidson. Top special. <laughs> Davidson is laying 13 and a half against South Carolina Upstate. Nope. Give me Upstate plus the points. Uh, yeah, give me Upstate plus the points. That's too many points, Davidson. Samford is laying six and a half at Texas Southern. Samford's fucked me up. 
Give me Texas Southern. What are you doing here? Same. I mean, I mean, this is back to back road spot for uh, Texas or sorry, Stanford. Is Texas Southern lock worthy? No, but this one is Detroit and Mercy's catch. Cat Detroit and Mercy's catching six at Central Michigan. Oh no, not again. Oh this is the game. Is this, this is the holiday? first win of the season. This is the first win of the season. I think this I is- agree. I think I agree. Wait, do we have a triple lock on Detroit Mercy, the hospital? We do. And I'm locking Texas Southern the game before. So Texas Southern, Detroit, let's fucking go. Now we got a problem. Hey, now we got cool. a problem. Folks. Detroit Mercy. Outright. Yep. I like it. Sprinkle First that money point. line. Sprinkle that money line. All Mount day. Pleasant is a true college town. There's nobody gonna be there. Nobody they played well again. They played well the other night too. I mean, they got job by the refs. Plus, plus, uh, just a day ago on Tuesday, actually, Central beat Davenport. My buddy goes to Davenport. That's a D two school. They dropped ninety on <laughs> Davenport, <laughs> so they already blew their wad for the week. Asheville is catching ten and a half. One Mountain School in North Carolina against another Mountain School. Oh God, man! Look, Asheville's look like shit all year, but App State's a fucking train, and I'm just waiting for them to lose. <laughs> Ten and a half. Oh man, come on. We gotta lock up Asheville, right? Yeah, I mean this is gonna be a game. Lock. I've had enough <laughs> of this you. F day. I've had enough of this F state <laughs> shit. I'm tired of you guys. Money I'm wise. with you. I'm just like it's it's a, a rivalry there, you know, yeah. or somewhat of a rivalry. Oh, it's ridiculous. Eastern Kentucky is getting three and a half at Troy. Give me EKU plus the points. Uh, yeah, saying let's go. Uh, I'll lay it with Eastern Kentucky. It's my guys. South Dakota state is taking on your North Dakota state Spartans that you just resent. I don't know what they did to you. Uh, I don't have a line on this. I mean, I got a line on this. No, you got this anywhere? Why do I not see this? It's probably because it still hasn't come out yet. Yeah. Uh, the, the matchups just got finalized. Uh, UTEP game finished uh, 45 minutes ago, hour ago. No, a little bit longer than that. But yeah, you know, these are relatively new matchups and they're low mid majors. So Check the picks page, no sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Click on college basketball picks or get the SGPN app, which is free to download in the App Store and Google Play Store. Uh, Simo is catching 13 and a half at, uh, at Illinois state. Simo is so fucking bad this year, man. <laughs> 13 and a half. That is a lot of points. I'll take the points. Noah, do you have a cocktail napkin for this game? Yeah. Cocktail napkin has the Redbirds at minus 18. My thought is, I mean, Illinois, Missouri's kind of got this state rivalry thing. Um, and that game's coming up too, the fight in the line eye against the Tigers. So I don't know if this is like some kind take of the points. border battle week for them. But yeah, that's why is I'm that Patty away. C? Is that Patty C over there? Um Army is at UTSA. UTSA's laying six and a half. Do I do it? <laughs> Lay it, man. You, Lay it. I can't take Army. Say sucks. Army sucks. Lock up Army. They're gonna win the game. Uh, UTSA sucks, man. <laughs> Army crazy. outright. Let's You're go. Army's crazy. better. Army's better. Money line Mag, they're not. Money uh, line Mag is locking up Army. They might come. Alabama A and M is catching thirteen at South Alabama. I have no idea. <laughs> give me the points. Every game, I feel like I'm saying, give me the points. This uh, this thing's dropped like a rock too. <laughs> Open to minus seventeen. Yeah, give me the points. That's all. Wait, I can South say here. Alabama's playing seventeen. No, thirteen and a half. No, the lines dropped. It opened seventeen. Now it's thirteen and a half. I feel like we should take Alabama A and M. No, 
No. Don't do oh, that yeah. to me. <laughs> I will. Let's go. Money Line Mag is locking up the Bulldogs. John Stallworth's alma mater. You're going to win out right. Texas State is getting 28 points at Houston. Oh, God. <laughs> Lay it. <laughs> Dude, I feel like. I feel like taking the points here. I can't wait. I'm going to keep saying lay it till Houston. And then they play West Virginia in a couple weeks and West Virginia is going to beat them out. Right. That's what's going to happen. I'm setting it up. <clears throat> lay it Houston. I'm taking the points, but I don't like it. SIU Edwardsville is getting 11 and a half at Bradley. Good game, Give man. me the points. <laughs> I'm saying, give me the points for everything. The fuck is going? No, you know what? Fuck it. Lay it with Bradley. They they've been off a little bit lately. They lay it right right here. They put it on SIU. Yeah, they. I mean, so they won six, lost five. It is a nice spot, but Edwardsville's not bad. I'll take the points. Riverside is hosting Idaho. Riverside's laying six. Noah. I'll lay it. Yeah, I have, I have a lock here. Where? I know. I'm taking the points. Uh, this is you, you said six, flat six. All right, I'm I'm taking the plus six with Ido. They're a good free throw shooting team, seventy four point one percent. Also, uh, Riverside off the uh, heartbreaking loss against their rival Cal Baptist, um, and Idaho. They uh, shoot the thirty seventh most threes per game. Riverside's opponents are shooting 40.1% from behind the arc. So locking up the Vandals. That's a wild play. I'm on Riverside, but Noah, it's all on. All on the Vandals. Jay Ooh. Wolf says he might be at the game. Shout oh, out there we Wolf. go. Shout out I, to Jay I, Wolf. Uh, lock battle, lock battle. I, I'm taking Riverside. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that might get me sued. Um, Chris Berman, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't sue me if I fucking sing it myself, motherfuckers. Uh, Riverside. <laughs> Two straight loss. Let's get home. What do I like Mac riding with Riverside? No, Phoenix going with the Vandals. Uh, Northern Iowa's laying three and a half at Northern Illinois. Gosh, give me Northern Great Iowa, game. but this line stinks a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I like Northern Iowa. Um, I'll lay it. I'll lay it. I'll lay it. Let's go. There, there's no, big I'll time. There's big time stink to this line, and I'm jumping in. I, I, I think the wrong team's favored here. Uh, the cocktail napkins got the Huskies favored by three. And you and I just can't close. They have so they have a rough defense. I'm going to pull it up right now. But uh, Northern Illinois offense is going to have a field day against uh, you and I. Two hundred eighty-four. Yes, yes. No, oh, the Huskies at home. I, Northern Iowa's defense, two hundred eighty-fourth in opponent effective field goal percentage. The Northern Iowa's that? offense is lightning. Noah Beanick locking up his Huskies. Northern Iowa can't finish. I like Northern Iowa. It'll be public, though. I'm going Northern Iowa. Uh, I could be talked into a lock here. Ball State's getting 12 at Minnesota. <laughs> I fucking Minnesota keeps fucking. Ball State's up. not that bad, man. I know. Noah. So Ball State has faced the 349th strength of schedule in the country, and they have their defense is ranked 258th in defensive efficiency on Ken Palm. Minnesota, 23rd in the country in field goal percentage. I'm locking Minnesota. Cocktail Napkins got this thing at minus 16. Locking Cocktail the Napkins goals. full of shit on this one, man. And Dawson <laughs> Garcia still might not play. Um, yeah, for, for what it's worth, uh, watch the injuries here because that probably wipes it out too because Braden Carrington might not play in this game either. He took a mental health break away from the team, but they won the other game that he didn't play. They won the other game that Dawson Garcia didn't play. 
I think I still like it if both of them play. I would rather the news come out and then I bet when they aren't playing. Why does Ball State have a suspension? They have a player suspended. <laughs> that Indiana State game men- got chippy. <laughs> Who had a mental health break? Braden Carrington. Of Minnesota. For a minute, for a minute. Oh, it's a smash wah, pot there for wah. Ball State. They Let's won the last, they, they, they won Get and destroyed. They destroyed IUPUI against the spread the last time they played. You they could heard Ball State to uh, Iwipui? Plus, this is 11 days after his mental health Oh, they've been getting incident, their fucking so. dick sucked. Let's go, Ball State. I'm locking up, Ball State. Give me the 12 and the Cardinal. Minnesota, get out of here. This is about Minnesota Christmas. barn shit. Thinking about Christmas right. at the fucking towers. Fuck well, that. for what it's worth, Minnesota doesn't fill up their home barn in the first place. So it's going to be nothing nothing different for them. Well, they got a better home court than you. Ooh. Do Ooh, they? shots are being fired. Do they? Stonehill. I don't have a line on this. Stonehill. Can you find me a line on Stonehill yeah, against the Miami? Stonehill line. When I picked it, I picked it two hours ago, but Miami was minus 28 and a half. Land. <laughs> the graveyard is <laughs> terrible. <laughs> what are you doing no, here? No, Miami sucks. Take it. Let's go. <laughs> so Taco Napkins got this one minus 31, too. <laughs> oh, God. There you go with that freaking shit. Again. Eastern <laughs> Illinois is catching 30 and a half at Iowa State. Oh, God. Lay it. Iowa State scores just so many. Like they blow out these mid majors. So as much as I like EIU, I gotta lay it. What are you doing here? Uh I mean this is fringe lock worthy, honestly. Iowa State's gonna kill them. Uh lay it. I'm not locking it though. Kansas State's laying five at home against Wichita. Get right spot for the Wildcats, even though I it's hate in this Kansas team. City. It's in Kansas City. Oh yeah, this is lose. a neutral. They're gonna lose. Neutral again. Give me Wichita. Yeah. Give me K State. Let's go. North Alabama's getting 13 and a half at Indiana. Give me the points. Mac? Does Indiana play every night? Um <laughs> they just survived the scare. Uh lay it with Indiana. Uh Georgia Tech is taking on UMass in Hawaii. For Damon Sotomayor, give me Frank Martin and UMass minus one and a half. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'm gonna lock Frank. I think it seems Ooh. better than that. I'm gonna yeah. Let's go. It Money seems good. Back. Let's go. Locking up the minute, men. They're gonna win the tournament. Kent State. For what it's worth, I'm locking it with Mac. Cocktail napkin likes it too. Minus five and a half. There you go. Noah Phoenix locking up UMass as well. Kent. UMass's defense, 51st in the country, uh, and U- Georgia Tech, 298th effective field goal percentage. So, might be rough sledding. Kent State is laying, is catching six and a half at Oregon. Oregon coming off that ass whooping. This line, the smelliest fucking line in the history of college basketball. Mac, would you say six and a half? Yes. Oh, in Eugene. Man. Uh, I feel like we should lock Kent. It's got to be. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Lock it. Kent State. I'm with, you. with the game out right. I'm with you. Something's not right. Let's go. Stanford is catching nine at San Diego State. I will lock up Stanford plus nine at San Diego State. What are you doing here? Hey, you know me. I like the tree huggers when they're getting points. I mean, San Diego State doesn't blow anybody out. Give me the tree huggers. Lock it up. Yeah. You go, huggers. I agree. That's one of the better plays, I think. Eastern Washington is catching 15 at Washington. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I am locking up Eastern Washington. You want to get a little crazy? Sprinkle some on the money line. Sprinkle some on the money line. What are you doing here? You said 15? 15 points, man. Oh, get the fuck out of here. 
<laughs> Get out of here. Lock that up. Dude, this is a weird slate, man. 15 yeah. for each dub? You're freaking in strokes. No way. The for, Norse. Oh, what's up? I'm locking E dub too. That's a yeah, triple lock. I mean, what the hell is this? Have they not, like, I'm almost <laughs> you know, terrible. This game, game smells. This is like a smelly mid for you know, teen pick here this is like what the they fuck is this they, they so, have colorado out of out of yeah. fucking break yeah this is after a double over, over, overtime game against a little brother yeah. in seattle it um and then colorado the back 12 play begins right after christmas with colorado uh it's about right yeah friends through eternity loyalty honesty will stay Anyone got the uh, Lamar? Oh, no, I got it. LSU's laying 14 against Lamar. It's a perfectly give placed me, line. <laughs> give me the points. It's right before Christmas. I don't know if they're showing up for this shit. Yeah, give me, points. Give me the points. points. Points late game. I mean, you don't know who's thinking about their flight to fucking Honolulu to get laid. No, give me the points. Wait, is this in Hawaii? No. But I mean, they might have oh, a girlfriend uh, in Hawaii. You never that's know. That's true. That's Even true. These fucking players. Fucking players. Wa Wyoming, UTEP. We don't have a line on that one yet. Uh, check the picks page. Obviously, they played tonight. So now they're playing tomorrow in that Sun Bowl challenge or whatever the fuck. Northern Kentucky is getting 15 and a half points at St. Mary's. 16, actually, 16 points at St. Mary's. Now this reeks. Dude, these lines today are weird. Don't do it. I'll, I'll give you a lock. St. Mary's going to win by 25. They're going to fuck Northern Kentucky up. They're fucking teams up. All the all those all those games that we were underperforming earlier. Yeah. Yeah. They're, now they're, they're correcting. St. Mary's by 25. Let's go. All right. I'm in. St. Mary's minus 16. I do see a 15 and a half out there if you're real swift. Yeah, for what it's worth, the number does seem off. Northern Kentucky, uh, the cocktail napkin has them plus 11 only, um, but they are off a rivalry win against Eastern Kentucky. Omaha. Omaha is laying two against Cal Poly. Wrong team favored. Give me Cal Poly in the Mustangs at home. This one's for, this one's for John Madden. What are you doing here? Let's go, Madden. Give me a uh, Cal Poly. South Dakota. He's catching eight and a half against Steve Lavin's Toreros. <laughs> Give me the points, but the other day I took South Dakota. They got fucking drilled. Actually, you know what? No. Give me San Diego minus eight and a half. What are you doing here? Give me the points. No Lobster <laughs> is getting four and a half in Vegas. What's Vegas? Does this smell a little bit to you? Oh. Uh... Maybe. I think so. The cocktail napkins got Hofstra favored by one. Give me the Rebs minus four and a half because something doesn't make sense. I, I I like the Rebs here. I mean, they're off the St. Mary's loss. The last time they were back at home, I mean, they got it done. Uh, give me UNLV. Boise State is catching a point and a half in Spokane against Washington State. No, no, no. Boise wins this outright. What are you doing here? Yeah, I like Boise. I think they're better. I mean, I like Wazoo as much as anybody, but give me Boise. Is this, this a is lock? A, this is a Boise outright victory, and I'm locking it up to Washington State. They're Eight and two, but they've faced the 344th strength of, strength of schedule. Regression is going to hit them hard. They had an eight point loss against Santa Clara. Boise State's tested 36th strength of schedule. This is a Broncos outright. Lock it up, says Noah Beanick. I might join you on this. Just forget the points. Just take I'll join you. Line. I'm joining one point. Let's go. Lock Just it up. Money Let's, line. Go. Let's go, Boise. Where the fuck is my sounds? You know, a lot of people go to college for seven years. Let's go. Final game on the slate. Portland is heading to the island. Portland.
Portland's catching nine. Why do I feel like we should lock up Portland? I, you know, I'm thinking the same thing. I mean, Hawaii's off the emotional game against Nevada. Portland, I actually don't think is horrible. Uh, yeah, let's go. Portland all day. Lock it up, folks. I want this pilot. I want. It's a matter of national security, folks. That's our show. Best bet of the night because I'm not rattling off all the fucking locks. There's too many fucking games. The best bet of the night. I mean, why do I feel like it's Old Dominion? Old Dominion against what? TCU? Getting 14 and a half. I also like Gardner Webb getting 10 against Akron. Anyone? I love Charleston. I know it's a lock battle. Give me Charleston all day, man. At home against St. Joe's. No, do you have a favorite play? Boise State. Money line it. There we go. Folks, Dang. give Noah Beanick a follow on Twitter at Noah B77 underscore Moneyline Max on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. I'm on Twitter at the Colby D. The College Basketball Experience is on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. And uh, yeah, subscribe. YouTube.com slash the College Experience. If you can hop on over to iTunes, give us five stars. We'd appreciate it. Uh, shout out to the whole chat. We appreciate all of you, even the assholes. And uh, look, uh, another night have- with 230 crazy people on Christmas week at 3:37 in the morning Eastern time. There we go. And uh, folks, if we don't, I mean, we'll, we'll we'll be back tomorrow. I can't fucking talk. We will be back tomorrow. But in case you are not back, I want to wish you a happy holidays. Whatever you know. Whatever you're doing for the holidays, stay safe. Get yourself, get yourself some fucking alcoholic eggnog. Maybe a few, you know, edibles. Enjoy. I don't know. Just enjoy the fucking holidays, people. We appreciate you. And uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun for us. So you only make it better. Stay safe. Have a wonderful holidays. You, your family. Shout out to Knight Rider and all the people that left us a couple bucks. And uh, yeah. Let's go. See you be same time tomorrow, folks. Or actually, it'll be it'll be a little bit earlier, probably or probably tomorrow, probably at like seven p.m. Pacific time. Uh, maybe somewhere right around there. We'll find out. All right. Until next time, folks. This is the college basketball experience. You better start thinking about yours. And we are out of here. <laughs> <laughs>